Welcome back to Elden Ring everyone. I've made it back to the round table hold because I want to test out a theory. And that theory is if I level up this sword or weapon whatever. It's a it's a spear. Is it going to just like destroy this boss, the snake boss? I have a feeling it might. And you know the reason I'm able to do this is because honest oh it's fuck it's somber smith Jesus okay I mean it makes sense I still have so many yeah I mean like fuck it I can spend it because I have a lot of these and uh, yeah I have nothing else to use them on because I don't want to use another sort of special weapon so what I was initially going to say is the thing is that actual smithing materials are so cheap in this game. Like, so incredibly cheap that just, you know, it's, it's just very easy. Another thing I want to check out is, yes, I can. Cool. Get that Omen Cleaver upgraded as well while we're here. Uh, I don't have a smithing stone. Seven. Ah, uh, no. I'm not gonna spend that much. That that might come in handy eventually. As in the somber smithing stone six. God. Why couldn't they have come up with a simpler... Uh, where the hell is it? Why couldn't they have come up with a simpler naming convention for the upgrade materials. I don't know, man. Somber smithing stones, smithing stones, six, five. It's a whole mess. Uh, what I'm probably also going to do is remove this. I don't think we're going to get much use of our, uh, from our shield. Oh, come on. Okay, so I think... One of the keys here is going to be not getting backed into the corner like I did in the first attempt because you just kind of screw yourself. I mean, I think it's dealing more damage. Jesus. It's actually dealing a lot more damage. This thing has, like, huge range. And do you have, like, a separate... Yes, you do. Okay, you do have a weapon art. You do actually have a weapon art, which... I'm assuming it does more damage. We'll try it. We'll try the weapon art as well to see what it do. This is gonna probably take a few attempts, because... This guy deals a lot of damage. I mean, we're destroying him... But he's also dealing a lot of damage to us, to be fair. <laughs> I wonder if you summon the Mimic. It probably does work, doesn't it? Oh, okay, it's just like... Okay. We need to start with this. Oh, come on, fucking on. I think that stuns him, doesn't it? Uh, sort of. Still missed, though. He's surprisingly fast. So this is basically just the Sekiro snake fight, except you don't just stab it in the eye once. You gotta do, like, the whole shebang and actually fight him. God, I'm dealing a lot of damage to it. Yeah. Not entirely sure how to avoid. <laughs> I got eight. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Start off with this. Big blast. Fucking hell. That is that is very delayed and I don't know how I'm not realizing it by the I don't know how many attempts. 
we've been doing here. Fuck. To be fair, it doesn't do a lot of damage, which is a little bit weird to say for this attack. Finally! Do a big blast! It has armor on it too. Okay, you just gotta panic roll away. And probably from that as well. Yeah, yeah, you can't roll through that. God, the camera is absolutely awful here. Did I pick up my runes? No, I did not. My runes are right under him. Which is... Or maybe you gotta jump it. This is kind of annoying. Uh, he has some very weird attacks that I don't know. Like, it, This is a always been a thing and I'm like spoiling my eventual review of this game when uh, I'm eventually gonna finish this playthrough which will happen don't worry I lost my souls didn't I whatever in that I cannot believe we are like six games in Dark Souls 1 2 3 Bloodborne Sekiro Demon Souls Elden Ring we're seven games in and from software still doesn't know how to handle the camera for large enemies. It's really noticeable in this game because this game has a lot of these like oversized bosses and I can't believe that even after all this time the camera is a gigantic struggle. Uh, kind of a shame because clearly they want to do the big anime type boss fights and it just it just doesn't work sometimes because of the shitty camera oh that has a follow-up too that actually stuns him quite a bit easy money this is definitely a second phase, right? I think that's way too... Something is gonna happen. It's gonna like wake up or so. Yeah, I knew it. Like, it's too easy. Too easy. <laughs> it's, it's that thing you used to put your hands in you know that fortune teller thing? I'm gonna find a picture for that I, I'm sure that's like a European thing I don't know what the hell he has rings damn This is Rykard, isn't it? <laughs> what the hell is going on? I like this guy. Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy. Blast this fool. Blast this fool. How much HP does he have? I mean, sure, this is a cinematic fight. You can give him as much HP as you want. Oh, now he has a sword. Ah, don't go. Does he have, like, little gross feet? He does, doesn't he? And he, he's actually fairly quick. Jesus, he has a lot of HP. It's 
It's actually easier this phase so far. Big blast. Big blast. It actually might be worth. Hmm. Yeah, it actually might be worth bringing a couple of cerulean flasks. What is he doing? Just fucking kill him. Yeah, just kill him quickly. Stamina be damned. What the... Oh. Oh, it's a big meteor attack. He's freaking out. Oh, it's like that thing that happens in... What the fuck is going on? This this feels very Murgo's wet nursey. You know that like when it just like freaks out. Oh, kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Easy. You're a bitch. That was way easier than the first phase. The snake had like some really annoying attacks. I think you're very much dead. But he seems very happy about it, so maybe he's not dead. Remembers, uh, remembrance of the Blasphemous. That is... First of all, that's very interesting that I picked up that equipment there. Uh, yeah, that was a cool fight. There's gotta be one in every Souls game, and... I think this was probably the best ever, because... The in the previous games where they really kind of faltered with these the big cinematic fight I don't know what else to call it is that it was always just too easy like Yorm is probably the sort of prime example of this Yorm is a very cool fight I love the Yorm fight in design but it's just so so unbelievably easy that it kind of loses its cinematic value when there is literally zero challenge being posed. Uh, and here, because he was actually strong, it just made things... I'm gonna get 50, fuck it. If you want me to get HP, I'm gonna get HP. Uh, but because this guy was actually tough, I just made things a lot more interesting. So I, I liked that. Let's read his great rune. I can never find these things. Oh, there it is. Uh, seek the divine tower of Vest Altus, which stands upon the precip at the coast southwest of Dell. Okay, well, cool. And this is for East Altus. Okay. Yeah, you don't get lore until you activate it. But I did get his Remembrance, which is probably going to have some some doink lore. Oh yeah, I need to use this as well. I'll check it. Remembrance of Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy. Yeah, hewn into the Earth Tree. Rykard took the form of a giant serpent that he might devour, grow and live eternally. I understand the road of blasphemy is long and perilous. One cannot walk it unprepared to sin. So was this just, guy just like an asshole or something? That's the sort of impression I'm getting. Let's go back. And we can talk to Gideon. First of all, we can check out what you can get from both him and the regal ancestor spirit. If it's nothing interesting, I'm going to just pop it. So we can get Winged Great Horn. It's an axe, right? Oh no, 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 oh, it's that weapon. 30 strength, interesting. Ancestral Spirit's Horn restores FP upon defeating enemies. Okay. And we have the Blasphemous Blade, which is his sword. Yep. Sacred Sword of Rikard, Lord of Blasphemy. Remains of the countless heroes he has devoured right upon the surface of this blade. Oh! Now they share the same blood, bound together as family. Some HP is restored upon defeating an enemy. Cool. 
And Rykard's rancor. Oh, this is the skull thing. The terrible power of Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy, summons searing spirits that leave a trail of delayed explosions in their wake. These spirits manifest from the rancor of heroes who met a violent end. The Lord granted them an audience, whereupon they were welcomed by the maw of the great serpent. And within the serpent's bowels, they became the Lord's kin. This guy actually has pretty interesting lore. Because, like... It, I get the impression that he's sort of an asshole. And the interesting thing about him... Oh, you can get this. Cool. Not that I wanted, but it's cool. That... So essentially what happens is they were eaten by the serpent, but they didn't die. So they were just kind of like stuck inside, which doesn't sound like a good fate. That's not a chief, for sure. Uh, still, you do give a lot of souls. Alright, Gideon, anything to say? No. Interesting. Thought he would have some dialogue. Cool then. Well, we got another shard. I just gotta figure out how to actually... Unlock all this shit. We are going to go for... Yeah, I'm gonna get that sweet, sweet 40 decks. That's like my next... My next goal. Well, boys... There is actually one more thing to try. See, because there is this... This area of... Kaled. This is the... I, I call it the difficult area. And we have a Dragon. And we also have another one of those asshole... Blackblade Kindred, or whatever it's called. Let's see if... All these levels... Actually add up to anything. And it looks like they might. It looks like this is just a standard dragon. It doesn't fuck around with like rot. Whatever else. Yeah, he just he's just mad strong because he yeah. So what I gotta do, I think. What sort of makes sense here would be to lure him away from the bridge. Because if this fool flies up, I am completely screwed. Sorry, Torrent, you're getting kind of a beating. Yeah, so you, c you can get away from it. You might be wondering why I'm doing this on screen. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm wondering as well. Just deals a lot of damage. But I think I can outlast him. There's a lot of flash charges for Torrent. I know this is some shit for like Elden Ring explorations, but... I don't know, man. I read on the great... Elden Ring wiki that you should be like a level... Like 100 at least. Before you attempt... Mount Galmir a shame and I'm nowhere near that and that's why a part of me feels it was going so well it was going so well yeah you know I'm not gonna torture you guys with this I'll try the black blade kindred because I think this is the exact same enemy 
Oh, this one doesn't even have an HP. No, it does. This guy is still mad strong. This weapon art, it actually does a lot of damage. It was just a tiny bit faster. See, what I'm trying to say is, if I can beat this one, I can sure as hell beat the other one. Unless that one is more powerful. They actually have different weapons, because this one has an axe. And that one has a twin blade. Hmm. Can't say that this is easy. Come on, bloody slash. Yeah, because people were very rightfully telling me to use my weapon arts more. Which I don't know why I'm not doing, because I'm stupid probably. Anyways. Oh, he has a sword. I was like, what the hell weapon does he have? But he has a little long sword. This guy's kind of lame. Yeah, he, his attacks are actually way less annoying than his counterparts. His counterpart is awful. That twin blade axe combo is just disgusting. I'm gonna save the heal. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances. He's gonna do one freak out and fucking destroy me. Yep. Told you. See, now things get interesting. Things get interesting and annoying. I'm not salty at all. No, there is, there is zero salt in my blood currently. All right, after quite a few episodes away, we are finally back on the mountaintop of the giants. Yeah, I left the Black Blade Kindred because it's just a really annoying fight. I I do not like that boss fight at all. If I'm going to be honest with you. I'll leave it, I'll beat it. I'll just leave it for an Elden Ring explorations instead of like a full me spending I don't know how many minutes out of this like video trying to beat him I do wonder if these guys will become easier oh fucking hell so they really just they're straight up on this like putting uh, standard bosses as or like bosses as regular enemies. They really are about that life. It's an interesting decision, especially since it leads to this. So this area just hasn't gotten any different. Like I've leveled up, I gained, I think like 10 levels at least. And, but it, it could be just this part, but, like, what the fuck is going on, honestly? I've never been a big fan of this, like, when you take an enemy that's clearly a boss and is absolutely tuned. Oh shit. Pick it up. 
is tuned to be a boss and they're like you know what it's a regular enemy now put like three of them in front of the player still I do think this is an optional area I do hope it's an optional area and that's what that's not where we need to go I knew you guys would be evil the fucking eagle after me of course it's just how it is I mean this area does look very impressive what the hell is that up there and we're getting like a bunch of frostbite materials and all that which I do appreciate This place does seem slightly more linear. I still do think this has to be very, uh, like, not, maybe not very close, but pretty close to the end game. And, you know, end game areas, they tend to, like, sort of narrow it down a little bit. Focus it up. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Interesting. Hello there. Is that another smoke? I think it is. I knew there was one more, more than one smo. God. So, someone please, in the comments. Whoa, it, it died? Let me know. Somebody told me, I saw it in like a passing comment, that... I'm gonna try finishing this thought. I'm gonna definitely get bled and die like an idiot. So somebody told me in one of the comments, in like a passing comment, that dexterity increases your ability to stay on torrent. Was that just like not correct? You know what? If you're gonna be on that bullshit, I'm gonna be on that bullshit too. And they immediately got killed. <laughs> like, uh, not even funny killed. Like, absolutely demolished. Alright, Smo. This guy is less of a Smo than the other one. Oh, don't get stunned. They knew to put a snake of Marika here, of course. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. This guy... This guy is gonna get the lethal treatment. Um... What? Oh, I'm not in the zone. Or... He's gonna get the... exploit the ends of his aggro range type deal. No, he's... Ah, fucking hell. Why is he so fast? <sighs> this endgame, man, is... very, very interesting, to say the least. Oh, no. And your FP is gone as well. So he disappeared. No, no, okay, no, no, no. He's he's still here. 
I thought he disappeared because I walked out of the... But no. I forgot that he teleports around. Okay, Luthal. I'm gonna need you to take some... Some of the heat off. We can work together like this. Oh, now he disappeared, didn't he? Yeah, because I walked out, out of the fucking... Yeah. See, summons have an... Like, sort of... Operating range. And if you walk outside of that, they just sort of disappear. This is one of the most annoying enemies I've ever... Oh, please fall off. Did you fucking fall off and die? Of course not. This was one of the most annoying enemies I've ever faced. Um, yeah. Screw that guy. Nice tunnel. And I'm betting you. I'm betting you that he respawns. Giants, mountaintop, catacombs. Okay. I feel like I, I sort of don't want to rest up because I know it's going to lead to some shit. The beast eye quivers. Yeah, there's a death root here. Let me just go and confirm my suspicion before that we're going to level up. Give me that 40. I don't even know what I'm going to spend my souls on afterwards. Probably like... Just HP. Of course he respawns, but... I'm pretty sure this is the way forward. Uh, there didn't appear to be... Too many other places we could have gone. Imagine if a, just a dragon shows up here. Or there's going to be another one of these fuckers on the other side. Hey, hey. Still don't know what the hell you... Whoa. Oh, torrent. Man. You gotta, like, screw with me like that. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep, it's a golem. At least it's an enemy we're familiar with. And he happens to have bad aim. Bad aim always works to my advantage. See, this is more like it. It is the type of damage I'm expecting to deal. Sure, these are endgame enemies, but still. Am I not gonna be able to? Yeah. I got robbed there a little bit. I think there is gonna probably be a side of grace here somewhere. Because we actually have some places where. We have some Elden Ring Explorations material here. I just need to... You know, get to it. I do very much like the atmosphere of this place. Finally we have a snow area that's a little bit more open. I mean, Dark Souls 3's DLC started off like that, but then it sort of, sort of closed in. But yeah, th this is cool. I'm guessing sort of the minor earth tree would be like a, oh, hey there. That is exactly what I wanted. Exactly. So the thing I'm going to go, go ahead and do is 
I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. We have quite a bit. This castle area seems to be like the place to be. I think it's gonna be sort of where we need to go, which means we need to go through here and actually figure out a way to get on top of this place. Then we have these ruins the minor earth tree and then the big castle. We also have a viewpoint. So we'll check all of this stuff out. But for now, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode of Elden Ring. Oh. <laughs> Shit. That's very cool. That is very cool. Yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.